Hello everybody and welcome to the Emory and Henry Weekly Esports Recap. My name is Jay and I'm joined by the Assistant Director of the program, Scoob. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing good. How about yourself, Jay? I'm doing pretty good. It's been an exciting week last week. As you can see, we had some wins and we had some losses. Uh, FIFA had Brandon Brandon win uh, and going 2-0. And then C4 won his game, and he's now 1-1 one one for the season. In Overwatch, Team A had a close game, but ultimately lost, uh, going 2-3 in the rounds for a record of 0-2 this season, while Team B had a dominating performance, going 3-0, making them 1-1 this season. Rocket League was a rough one, 0-4 uh, for their rounds, going 0-2 this season. And Hearthstone was good. Uh, Orin won, and so did Jani. They're both 1-1. One, one. Finally, Smash Bros. Ultimate. Team A lost 0-2, leaving them 0-2, and Team B won 2-0, leaving them 1-1. One, one. Moving on to the clips section of this week's recap, we're going to start off with an Overwatch 2 B-team highlight from our new player, Drew Sturgill. We are trying to uh, stop the other team from capping the point at all on King's Row on defense. And the other team sequenced their ults in such a way that they got killed most of our team, but luckily Drew was able to clutch it out and save the point. So here we're watching Drew Sturgill's perspective, as I said, the Reaper. And if you look at the top of the screen, you can see the enemy team sequencing their ults, Hanzos and then Bastions. Yeah, and I was telling Jacob that the thing that gets me about this uh, clip is how much restraint Drew is exercising. He's playing aggressive, but he doesn't step too far up making sure that he can find that entry into the enemy team for what we're about to see. Yeah, so he got a kill on the Bastion and then the Hanzo before teleporting into the backline and ulting. And as you can tell, no allies left on the clip, and then he hits him with the goodbye. Oh, it was beautiful. Next up, we have a couple of Smash clips from our B-team broadcast last Monday. We're focusing on Neil, someone who is new to the program. This was his stream debut as well, and all of his games were nail-biters going to incredibly high percentages. Check it out. Not a kill, but... Yeah, both are kind of in that kill range. It's just like yeah. who, lands, who lands the first blow. Neil Good the back air. Oh, can't and quite another land one. It. Oh, this is this is so close. That's oh. something like right here. If you get a grab. Oh, there nice. we go. Yeah, the there we go, Neil. Tilt. Yes. Let's go. Awesome. Let's go. You know, he was fishing those up tilts before, and he finally was able to get the up tilt out of shield. We saw Neil clutch that out on his last stock at over 100%. It was a really incredible play that led to the victory that night. Yeah, Neil was really taking advantage of the projectile game that Mega Man has, but as I was getting into those high percentages, he was kind of struggling to figure the kill option out, but finally he was able to get that up tilt, which, uh, yeah, definitely secured that first round. We just watched Neil clutch it out on his last stock at uh, over 100%, but we're going to go even further than that this time to 202% before he clutches one out. But, yeah, right now they're just dancing around each other because both know. Oh, nice parry. Uh, wasn't able to capitalize. I think he might have been going for a back air there. Uh, I think this is the definition of death by a thousand cut. Yes. <laughs> Literally with the saw blades and everything. <laughs> and there's oh, oh, there we Look go. Look at that. Tide smash. Four Neil with three, three stocks. Wow, what a beautiful. I mean, well, he didn't three stock him, but he, he got three stocks and only lost one. Yeah. Another clutch from Neil showing the ice in the veins. Neil went into that round with a single stock left, and he came out of it with a stock remaining. Didn't lose a single one and got three off of that Mario. Yeah, it was a great performance and a very exciting stream debut. I mean, he kept the entire round under control. He managed to stay cool under pressure. And uh, also, shout out to Eli, who in the second half managed to nine stock the other team. I mean, it was just dominating all around. So good job, B team. Uh, that'll do it for our first episode of the weekly Emory & Henry Esports Recap. Last week was exciting, and this one is fixing up to be exciting, too. Be sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash on Monday to catch our Smash stream, and tune in next week for a special interview. Thanks for watching.